Jess Phillips right when she says, under the Conservatives, rape convictions have fallen to an all-time low. Is she right there, Minister? So uh, we have seen a challenge uh, with rape convictions. So she is right then, isn't she? You're absolutely right. Yeah, no, they have fallen uh, very significantly over the last few years. That's for a variety of reasons. But that's exactly why we're we're on the verge of publishing a, an end-to-end rape Here review. Here we go again. Another review, no. another task force. Another. Nick, Meanwhile, the convictions are yeah. falling. This is yeah. not the. This is not Mayor Johnson and Deputy Mayor Malthouse, is it? This no, is Nick, Prime look, Minister Johnson and Minister Malthouse, and we're not getting it. It's all talk, talk, talk. No, it's not talk, Nick. These are extremely complicated issues, and we have to diagnose. Where the problem lies is the problem with the gathering of evidence is the problem with the handover from the police to the CPS. Is it all those things? And we've been working closely with uh, women's groups and others and with the, the victims commissioner to understand the problem. Now, we could leap to conclusions at the start, but that is not a sensible way forward in what is a difficult problem. Now, on the way, we have put more money into support services uh, for those who are victims of rape and sexual violence. We're rolling out more independent domestic violence and sexual violence advisors to support people as they go through the system and there is loads that is being done but these are complex and difficult problems and before we we get assertive on this which we absolutely want to do we need to diagnose them now we are committed to driving up the number of cases on rape that get into court and that is our laser-like focus and you will see the strategy that draws everybody together now that is a different approach i agree with you from running a city when you have more direct levers when you're well, when you're in charge of a country and you've got police and crime commissioners and police and health service who need to be corralled you have to have a proper plan and that's what we're putting in place let me 